day two of our challenge to find the best house for sale at half a million around the Thames Valley. So far we've seen a thatched cottage in a remote village, a converted forge next to a pub and a Victorian mini mansion on a busy road. But we've yet to strike gold. Odium is both busy and attractive and it's just three minutes walk from this renovation project. Once the home to the boss of the old chalk quarry, it's also been a Napoleonic prison and a pub. Structurally sound with main services fitted, it's been given the green light to make it look like this. The Chalkmaster's house will include five bedrooms and four living rooms. The price is £315,000. Realistic rebuilding and fitting out costs are £200,000. Good morning. Good morning. Are we taking the mickey? No, no not at all. It looks amazing. fantastic, amazing. yeah, it does. This would be your dining hall leading through to your kitchen. That would be your sitting room on the other side. Imaginations can run wild here and there's potential for making serious money. Oh wow, this is a brilliant room. So this will be one of your two spare bedrooms, which are pretty good size. First look, it is scary, but you wouldn't be doing it. And if yeah. you called in the experts, they're the people that are responsible for looking after you. Yeah, and we get to do the exciting bit of designing and seeing yeah. what we want Absolutely. here, there and everywhere. Yeah. 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 Now what the current plan is, is to remove as many of these joists as possible that aren't structural. And so you'll, you'll get a sort of vaulted barn effect up into the ceiling. Oh, great. Would you be prepared to take on a project of this size if it gave you everything that you were Definitely, looking for? Definitely. No yeah. question. Yes. Yeah. You may have noticed metal X's or S's halfway up houses. In this case, there are circular discs halfway up the house. And what they do is hold in these horizontal stabilising bars. You have a good wall and then you have a bad wall which might be bowing or in some way falling. The rod restrains the bad wall and stabilises the house. If you're thinking about taking on a genuine project like this, there are serious things to consider. On one hand, weigh up the advantages of getting the house of your dreams and the potential to make money. And on the other hand, think about the uncertainty, how long will it take and how much it'll cost. Can you handle it? Because once you're in, you're in. It's a wonderful view, isn't it? Amazing, isn't it? Do you reckon they'll buy it? Well, I thought, to be honest, after yesterday, that there wasn't a hope in hell. And I've been amazed. They're, they seem to be really game and, and on for it. Just one thing I'll throw at you, though. There's a busy road at the back. It is a busy road. That they could spend the same and have the house that we saw last night. Yeah. I'm thinking it could be amazing. I know it can be amazing. But it's scary it, too. It's just, yeah. And caravan living for a year. Yes. <laughs> that road is noisy at times, isn't it? Yeah, but that, that will go. Mm. We'll finish it off. Yeah. I'm, I think we could do something spectacular with this. We really could. Phil. Well, had a good thing, yeah. good walk round. Yeah, yeah. It's just got so much going for it. So much going for it. Brilliant. Hang on, just freeze there. Does she look like someone 100% happy with spending half a million and living in a caravan for a year? Hmm. Our final property is in Sherfield on Loddon, half a mile south of Simon's work. This is the former coach house and stables to the village rectory. The house has four bedrooms, a large walled garden and a workshop. It's on budget at half a million. In you go. We're not going to chase you. You can look around it all by yourself. Great. OK. Now, we know that they needed to be near a village shop and we know that they were wary about road noise. But I don't want to say that we've saved the best till last because the other ones have been really good opportunities, but there's a tick in every box here. Yeah. This what, is fantastic. What did you say, Phil, that it had you at the courtyard? It did. It did. I was looking for the check. <laughs> No, we said, actually, we said we'd wait. I'm dying to see what they think. Oh, I love the room. Oh, is that lovely? Mm. It's brilliant. Oh, this is lovely in here. Wow. Gorgeous, isn't it? Beautiful garden. This is very nice. Wow. 
Joe. <laughs> oh my God. I'll tell you something, without knowing much more about it, this is interesting. It is. This is really interesting. So did you find your way around? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely amazing. It's pretty special. Yeah. It's yeah. fantastic. This yeah. was where the coach was kept. Next door was the tack room. And beyond that was the stables. Wonderful. Mm. It still feels like it with the windows. Yes. And the it's, and the it's the arches. Yeah. 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 There's lots of outside space. To the rear, the walled garden. To the front, that courtyard, which leads to the workshop. This is a room and studio app. space <laughs> or what? Studio. There's room to have a proper studio and a garage space. Yeah. It's brilliant. Call it two studios. Brilliant, yeah. Yeah. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, if this isn't the final tick in the final box. It does appear that it does way. It does appear that it? way. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, that. It may well be. And it's a very big tick, isn't it? Yeah. Joe and Simon reject all of yesterday's properties, but want to see the renovation project and this one again. I think the other one, the Trot Masters, there's lots of technical questions yeah. um, that we want confirming. This one, I think it's more about seeing what the village is like in a working week, yeah. seeing the yeah. location, yeah, the house, down, I don't have any yeah. questions about. It's 8am on day three. And it's rush hour up there. Yesterday, that wasn't an issue, but Joe and Simon want a quiet word inside. It's a real shame. I think we're, we're verging away from it, aren't we? Absolutely. If it's in your mind and it's moving in a negative direction, perhaps we should be better off moving on. Yeah. It's over to you entirely. Well, I just think because of the, the length of time that it's going to take for us to actually get in here, we probably would be wise just to move I'm on. I'm hard really. to say yeah, so, I but know. I it's... think we move on. So, back to the old coach house. A sale isn't certain. After viewing more than 40 houses, can we help them find a home? Now, does this one excite you as much as it did yesterday? Yes. Now, we'll see if coming inside continues to give you that same warm feeling, Simon. Yeah, it does. It's bright and it's high and it's spacious and it's... it feels good. There's a problem with the seal of this double glazing, but issues like this shouldn't stand in the way of a sale. If you find yourselves actually involved in purchase, purchasing a house where the vendor is promising that he'll have works done by the time the deal completes, you can organise a retention within the contract that, that money would be held back on completion if the works weren't done. Oh, okay. okay. Could Joe both live and work here? Few of us give the location a thorough checkout before we get our checkbooks out. This is particularly interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Local plan review and how it concerns you. Quiz potential neighbours for an honest appraisal of the area. Are there enough local amenities? It's got flowers in it. Yeah, someone's looking after it. Uh, I think it's. Mm. You I'm, it, I'm quite keen, Jess. I must admit, I'm getting keener as we're spending keener time here. As the as the moments tick on. Yes. We're struggling to find anything wrong with this property. I, mean, I suppose something to look at is the roof, isn't it? You're looking for any slip tiles, you're looking for lead flashings that have come apart. Have you ever seen one of those wire mesh? Any idea what that's for? Is it something to stop the birds nesting in your drain pipe? Good guess. <laughs> um, this is glass. Right. And if we had a lot of snow and it all sat up there and it suddenly melted, it stops it would come crunching oh, down onto the top of it. Oh my gosh. I just, I don't know what it is, but it has a fantastic feeling of space and light, and you just think, this would be a really nice place to work. It could house both a garage and Joe's workshop, but for that it would need warming up. They put uh, wooden struts about two foot apart, and in the gaps they stick the insulation, and you do that all the way around. Right. Okay. On the, on the outside of that, you then put your plasterboard. It's not an expensive thing to have done. Total cost would be about three grand. To get a great studio. Yeah. yeah. Have we found your perfect house? I think so. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, can't, you can't believe it. No. <laughs> Nor can we. Joe and Simon are chain free. They have money in the bank and the desire to move quickly. Anybody in this strong position should be able to strike a good deal on the price. Could you give us an idea of what you would be willing to pay for it? Asking price. Fine. If that will get it, 
you know, and if we have to go a little more, we can go a little more, but I don't really want to. I think the quicker we move, the better, the better we'll get it. And Fantastic. you know what? The estate agent's across the street. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> After discussing tactics, I leave Kirsty with a nervous Simon and Joe and go over the road to start negotiations with the agent. Our opening bid is at £480,000. That's 20000 below the asking price. We've been considering two properties particularly today, one of which you're marketing, right. both of which are really under consideration. They've sold their house and they're living in rented accommodation in a family rented house they would be able to conclude this deal within 10 days. Their bid is 480,000. Right. I, I don't know how that stacks up against what y your clients were expecting. I'd say it's certainly worthy of consideration. Just finding out in respect to the couple, Mr and Mrs Miles, who viewed your property, they're in rented. The offer deal is of 480,000 and, uh, as I say, would uh, like to progress as soon as possible. So I can give you a ring back this evening? Yes, no problem at all. Mm. All right. Okay. Thanks, okay. For, thanks very much. Bye. An hour later. <laughs> Hello? Yes, yeah. We'll do that. We'll do that. Thank you. Bye. 480,000. The house is yours. <laughs> Joking? No, I'm not joking. You're joking. Accepted. Oh, well done. oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. I am gobsmacked. It's a pleasure. I am as well. <laughs> <laughs> we caught up with Simon and Joe ten days later. When Phil got that phone call in the pub, it was an amazing feeling. Uh, it was really exciting. We couldn't believe it had gone through so straightforwardly. We've had the survey done and um, we're just looking forward to getting involved in village life. Really exciting, yeah. Looking forward to it.